In this short video, we're going to cover new tools built inside the WebEx Control Hub. You simply click on the Migrations link right over here, and then this will take you into a new page that has three cards with wizards. So migrating Jabber to the new WebEx, that's sort of self-explanatory. Migrating enterprise phones to MPP firmware, we've actually covered this in another video, and this card can actually be thought of as a subset of this card, which we're going to talk about in this video, which is migrating from on-prem UCM to the WebEx cloud. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we can see here are three steps. And the first step is the prerequisites. So obviously we need to have the WebEx Control Hub set up. And we also need to do some basics in terms of WebEx calling locations, adding PSTN, etc. Then we actually need to export a BAT tar file from UCM. And this will contain all of our phones and all of our users. And then for the phone load, which we sort of covered in the other video about migrating MPP, that will be 12.51 SR2 or higher. And then we need to do some type of identity sync or import of our users. So let's go ahead and do step two. And this actually provides instructions on how to do this. You basically go into the bulk administration tool, select all and export. So let's go ahead and walk through that. And here I am in UC Manager. I will go to the import export I choose export and then I will select all I'll give this a name and I will come down here and choose to run this immediately and then I simply click submit now we're going to go up to upload and download files and give it a minute or two in order to build this file now we will check that our export was successful. And here is the export. So what I'm going to do is download this to my computer. And then I will go back to the WebEx Control Hub. And we will move from step one to step two. And I'll go ahead and import this data. So you can either drag and drop or you can browse for the file. So here is my export. I'll go ahead and import that data. And this will take a few minutes in order to process all of the data. So let's give this a moment. So my data import was successful. And as you can see, we have two users, we have two numbers, and we have two phones and zero soft clients. Now I can single click here and this will show me all of the data that it has imported so these are the details of the actual users in terms of user id display name the mail id the telephone number and the device pool now you'll note here it says zero devices have already been migrated and will not be available for migration now if you see this say something other than zero that would be because you've either run this tool in the past and migrated users that way or you use another method to migrate users and it can pick that information up so if i go back to the main page here just i want to point out one more thing is on the top right of step two i can go back and view what we were just looking at by clicking view or I can delete this data and start over so now that we've looked at our imported data and validated that it was good I can now create a task to actually migrate to WebEx calling so we'll give it a name and then we click next and now it is going to validate the device pool. So if you have more than one device pool, you're gonna see more rows here. And what you need to do is manually associate the actual 
UC Manager Device Pool to a WebEx calling location. It doesn't necessarily know which WebEx calling location that you want to associate it to, so you need to specify. In my case, I'm using this particular WebEx calling location in order to match that up to this UC Manager device pool. And then I click Next. And you'll also notice on the very top is a sort of progress indicator of the steps that we need to take to go through this migration process. These are milestones, if you will, as we use this wizard. Okay, so at this point, it's basically asking me, do I want to migrate to this WebEx calling location? Again, if you have multiple locations, they would appear here and you can select them individually or you can select this box to select them all. So we'll now click next. In this next step, it'll allow us to basically validate the numbers and extensions that we want to migrate. It will also report any errors that it has encountered. So let's give this a moment. As we can see, we have one WebEx calling location. We have two devices that are ready to be migrated and we don't see any errors or extensions in use. So this is good to see zeros over here. Also, I can edit the WebEx number, I can edit the extension number, I can delete that from the task, and now we're ready to proceed to the next step. So now on this screen, we have our one WebEx calling location, we have two WebEx users ready to be migrated, and one thing I wanted to point out is that if these were, say, lobby phones, I could change the workspace, simply click edit, and then switch this over to be a workspace if I wanted to do so. Since these are two users, I'm not going to do that. Another thing that I could do is I could actually delete a row here if I didn't want to migrate this user for whatever reason. So you have some options here in terms of how you want to manage the process. So now we will click Next. And what it has done here is check the eligibility of the devices. So the 8861 is eligible as well as this MAC address. So just like with the other MPP migration card, it's doing a validation check to make sure that this MAC address is eligible. And it is eligible, so that means we can proceed to the next step. So this is basically a review screen and we have one location that is ready to be migrated so now we can prepare to migrate so i'll click this button and here it's basically providing a pop-up to go ahead and accept and continue and that's all there is to it so we are essentially complete for the remainder of our tasks it will be essentially a standard MPP migration of converting our phones. So I'm going to click close here and here you can see my task says in progress. We'll give this just a second here and now you can see it says ready for migration. So this is a sign of health because it's green. If there were errors you would see it turn a different color. So I'll go ahead and click on this and essentially we're done. So my actions are I can either download a status report or I can trigger the migration. We also can trigger the migration from the actual main page here. So I'll go ahead and click trigger migration. And at this point, what it's going to do is provide us information in order to migrate the phones off of UC Manager. Again, this is very similar to the other video on MPP migration from UC Manager. So I click download files. So in this zip file is the information I need to import into UC Manager. So again, I would refer you to the other video in terms of how to prepare UC Manager in order to migrate the phones. So let's quickly review the two users that were migrated. If I go to users, and I select one of the users. 
I'll select Tucker. And here we can actually see that WebEx Calling Professional is enabled. And here is the phone that has been migrated and it will match the MAC address that was in the file. So again, my next step will be to stay Juicy Manager and go ahead and do the migration from the enterprise phone firmware to the MPP. So I hope this video helped clarify the migration process. Thank you for watching.